So it's your boy, Daniel Size, and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. So, did Chapo's son set up Mayo? That's the question, right? Now, I want to explain several things about how things work over there as far as logistics and security is concerned when it comes to, when it comes to protecting the bosses and protecting the routes. Now, first and foremost, the, the, the true protectors of those routes are the Mexi Mexican military. The Mexican military is what, what oversees all of it. They are the ones who tip the bosses to what's coming. That is how they manage to stay ahead of all law enforcement. And then the Fed, the, the Federales, and, and the police, they're not going to mess with them. They're not gonna mess with them. It, it it takes the Mexican Marines to go in there, which are, you know, that's 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 their elite right there. Those are their special forces. So that's who they send in usually to go get people like that, to capture or to whatever's gonna happen. And it's those generals who protect those bosses. So each of those bosses typically has a regional a regional general that's protecting those routes for those particular plazas or those particular cartel bosses. Now, okay, when it comes to, to Mayo, that's the thing about it, is that he had that type of protection. So in order for them to have gotten him in any way, there had to have been, there had to have been those operations that one, either that general didn't know about or two, he had to stand down on. And being that that Miles' attorney is 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 claiming that um, they had military uniforms on, it's likely that that's who captured him. That somewhere along the line, there are deals being made because there's there's now being you know different kings, pawns, and whatnot being moved on this chess table. Now, obviously, Chapo and his sons have a vested interest in all this. Obviously, Los Chapitos all have a vested interest in turning Mayo in to save themselves. So it doesn't matter whether they're in prison or not. If they're in Mexico, they can still control all of it. But if they're here in ADX and they're cut off from all communications except with an attorney, it makes it impossible. And that's why they dread coming here. There's nothing they fear more than coming to an American prison. And when you look at the, the images of, of Chapo when he's brought here, once he's here, look, it looks like he's crying, he's been crying. That's the, last, the last thing on earth he wanted. He's in a foreign place where he knows nothing, not even the language. You see, this is hell to them. And then to be in a box at ADX in the fashion that Chapo is, no human contact, except for with an attorney, they don't want that. So, so when it comes to the arrest of Mile, there had to have been insiders. It's obvious based on what I just explained to you about those generals and them having to be either, either unaware of or participated in or stepped aside. Because as I said, they have generals that protect them. Now, there's obviously a game of chess being played that we're seeing in real time. So whatever is going to come about, everyone already knows. It's already been exposed. So whatever deals that the U.S. government made with them, they made with them to put them in, in a position of power. Which means that, that they have control of them. You see what I'm saying? They're informants. So even if they go back there to Mexico, they'll still have the claim of fame. Nobody's going to care because they still have the forces behind them. But this is just the United States government playing king make, maker at a, at, a, at a vital time in our elections because they can tout that on their record. There's a lot more than meets the eye when it comes to all this. Now, I understand that, you know, people from here that don't know no better or in, even if you're from there, if you don't know any better, if you're not, if you're not have those type of insights where you've been involved then you don't know. Word of mouth is not enough to know. 
And what people here have a tendency to do is, is confuse and conflate what people here believe gangster is. You try to superimpose what, what American ideals are of gangster and try to imply, apply it to that or what our, our perceptions of mafia and whatnot are when it doesn't apply to a cartel. A, a cartel is a conglomerate. There are there are other business interests involved with it. When 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 Gallardo first forms the first cartel in Mexico, because he's the one who fir first formed the first cartel there. What did he do? He consolidated power out of Juarez, out of out of TJ, out of Sinaloa. He consolidated all of this power, and that's how the Sinaloa cartel managed to get from Culiacan, its hub, all the way from the southern border up into Chihuahua, into Juarez. They were able to control all of those states going into it until there's a falling out with the AFO and the Sinaloa cartel. So you have to understand something that Mexico is a narco state. It's utterly corrupt. From the president on down, everybody is paid with narcotics money. It's a narco state. They make their wealth from narcotics, all of them. Now I've seen, I've seen that a media report where they're saying that uh, it's actually that DEA agent who was working in Mexico on the Kiki Camarena case. And he was saying how they have uh, uh, Mayo's estimated worth at 10 billion. That's a lot of money. But the thing is, is how much of it is getting kicked back? How many of those of that of those billions are being are being paid to protect him? From military protection to political protection. Do you understand that cost? And if you look at look at the Kiki Camarena case, what got Kiki Camarena killed? It wasn't it wasn't finding Buffalo Ranch with all of that weed in the desert. No, it was the money. It was those millions of dollars that they had to find out. How did you know that? And they had to cut off any chances of him tracing that money up the line. So the Kiki Camarena, Kiki Camarena assassination is all the way at the top in Mexico. It, it goes well above those members because certain things are known about it. And, and, and the relationship between Oliver North and, and Gallardo when, when Oliver North was using the ranch in Veracruz. So, so you understand that things work differently over there. There's no cops. There's no none of that. They're all corrupt. Those that are not, they have to get out of the way. They, they have to create special prosecutors and special police and special everything. And then, you know, when you get a mayor or governor or, or president or whatever in power, they have to have this, this extra protection. in order to secure them because media, reporters get killed, journalists get killed, everybody gets it. Politicians, lawyers, bankers, anybody, anybody that becomes a threat to that, that multi-billion dollar operation that runs out of Mexico in that narco state, anybody can get it to protect those vested interests. So, so the arrest of Mayo goes all the way to the top. There's no way in the world that they didn't get him without both presidents knowing because it's that corrupt. In the next one, I'll, I'll speak about um, how Mayo and Chapo set up Macho Preto for assassination. That's a more complicated one to do because I have to vet what, I, what I'm putting into it. Now, no. I want to say this in this one is that what I'm what I'm telling you guys is not, it, it's not a secret. It's not known to people that are watching this, but to 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 the government, it's known because I was on the I was on the run at the time. 
And a lot of what was happening as I took the home is a lot of, man, there, there's no way that these communications are not being intercepted. In spite of the fact that, you know, two-way radios and, you know, BlackBerry Messenger, which had the, the, the most secure encryption, plus using others encrypted devices, you know what I mean? None of that was in any guarantee when we didn't know where there could be a bug at. We didn't know, we didn't know how we would be surveilled when we seen some very strange things over there. So take note of that. Nothing I'm telling you is not a secret. It's not a secret to the government. It's not a secret to no one. It's just a secret to those who are listening and watching now. But the exposure of what I'm telling you, it reveals a lot about what's really happening over there and how corrupt it is. So, like I said, the next one, I'll speak about, I'll speak about the Macho Preto assassination and, and explain how they set him up for assassination when, when the Marines were on, on Chapel Hills already. Peace. I'm out.